Segovia is a town in the Leon region of Spain. It's only about an hour and a half northwest of Madrid. It's a perfect day trip if you're staying in the city. The population is around 50,000 and it's definitely very walkable. All of the sites you're going to be able to see within the course of six or seven hours. It's just so unique and that's what I love about it. It's very different from the urban setting that you'll feel in Madrid. It feels like you're transported to a different time period. Everything from the churches, the bells, all of the architecture, the narrow streets. Definitely worth your time if you're in Madrid and looking for something to do outside of the city. This is one of the coolest castles we've ever seen. And the best part about it, there's hardly anyone here. So there's three or four landmarks that you're absolutely going to want to see if you're spending the day in Segovia. The first one is behind me. This is the Alcazar. It's a medieval castle that we're about to go check out. It was built sometime in between the 11th and 12th century. They're not exactly sure, but it was made a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1985. It's absolutely incredible how it just sits on the top of this hill and literally every direction you can see for miles. To enter the Alcazar, it costs nine euros, which includes a visit to the museum and some of the rooms inside the palace. Hundred fifty two steps down. Whew. So the Alcazar is definitely worth a visit. You can pay either six euros to just see the rooms inside the castle, or you can pay the extra three euros of a total of nine to get to the top of the tower. You do have to walk up a lot of stairs to get there, but you have full 360 view of the entire town and the surrounding rural area, so very cool. I was so amazed by the ceilings in each room. Every single room you went to, you would just look up and see this incredibly detailed ceiling, and they were all so different in each room. I really liked here that they allowed you to take photos and videos everywhere when we were in the Palace of Madrid. They're very strict about that. We're off to the cathedral next. You can kind of see it behind me. It's behind that big tower. There's so much to see inside the cathedral. You can easily spend a couple hours in there just seeing all of the artwork, the amazing architecture, the stained glass windows. There's even a pretty sizable art gallery that you can go into. The main one is just an incredible display painted in the 1500s, over 500 years ago. Still preserved really well. Understandably, they didn't want photos and videos in there, but definitely worth your time if you're here to check out the art gallery inside the cathedral. 
like the sinners on the top. Death is like ready to cut the rope. The devil is waiting on the bottom for the sinners. And Jesus is on the other side saying like, hey guys, stop sinning. So the Cathedral of Segovia, definitely also worth a visit. It's only three euros to get inside. I'm really impressed with the prices of admission both at the Alcazar and here. A lot of times when you have a place that is known for tourism, you have a lot of tourists coming in, they like to jack up those rates. Here in Segovia, they treat tourists very well. Pretty cool feature of Segovia's architecture, it's got a lot of Moorish influence. If you can see behind me, we're here in the Jewish Quarter, and a lot of these buildings here in the Jewish Quarter will have that really, really intricate and interesting detail on the sides of the buildings. Also, we noticed it at the Alcazar, too, if you look at the outside of just like the facade of the castle. Pretty cool, pretty unique, and you're gonna see it a lot in Segovia. So we've almost arrived at the last must-see attraction here in Segovia, but before we do that, one more building I wanna point out. This behind me is the Casa de los Picos. As you can see, there are just little granite peaks that kind of come off the building facade. There's 617 of these granite peaks. You can see it from all the way down the street and it looks so imposing. This building has been owned by a lot of different people and groups, but it's actually now headquarters to the Segovia School of Art and Design. So pretty cool place to go to school if you ask me. Perhaps the most impressive landmark here in the town of Segovia is this perfectly preserved Roman aqueduct. Look at the size of this thing. This is over 2,000 years old, and it is said to be one of the most well-preserved aqueducts from the Roman era. It's right here in the town of Segovia. It's kind of been a running joke here in the channel that the Romans were absolutely everywhere in Europe. They covered basically the entire landmass from Bulgaria to Spain. That's about as east to west as you can get. You can kind of picture how this would work. The water would flow from the very top, and it would flow from the Rio Frio River, which kind of runs from the mountains and then it would run all the way down into the town that would be their main water source. The fact that it's still here is honestly one of the coolest things. I mean, we've seen some very old buildings, very old structures, cathedrals, churches. This is over 2,000 years old and it looks so pristine. What I think is really interesting about it too is that if you look really closely, it almost looks like there's no mortar or anything between the bricks. It looks like the bricks are basically stacked one on top of the other with nothing in between them. I'm sure that's not exactly how it works. It looks like that when you get really up close to it. So it's one of the coolest structures I've ever seen. And we're really excited to see what it looks like for sunset. But the other thing about the city is they have great food. The suckling pig is apparently the most famous thing here in Segovia. I don't know if we're gonna get it because I've heard it's really expensive. We're still budget travelers, but hopefully we can see one maybe at another table. We've had a really fun day here and I can't stress it enough. It's a perfect day trip from Madrid, but we're not done yet. We're gonna have a great meal and then we're gonna see what the sunset looks like with this amazing aqueduct behind us. That's pretty much everything you need to see here in Segovia as far as the landmarks and the tourism attractions. Thank you so much for following our adventures in Segovia today. If you have been here before and if we missed anything, please let us know in the comment section. Also, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, that really, really helps us out. If you're interested in our newsletter, the link is in the description. 